Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You can see the leaves are beginning to fall already. Fall is going to be here, and I'm going to have to start raking up the leaves. One thing that will be kind of cool will be um, as the leaves change. Right now, everything's green, and then you're going to see the autumn colors and stuff. And then, of course, it's going to go to winter where you'll see nothing on the trees. They'll be butt naked. Um, interesting thing is I thought it was kind of cool to put the flowers up here, you know. I thought it would look nice and dress it up a little bit and make it nice. My wife had said, looking at the stream, she's like, you know, the flowers are kind of distracting. And that maybe that I should take them down. And some people have said, yeah, it, it looks too girly here. But I was trying to make it look like a nice outdoor space because it's not only football. You know, we have other people that come through and, you know, we sit here have a couple of drinks and stuff. And just want to make it nice ambiance all the way around. Not just for football. But anyway, I was sitting here watching the Ravens versus, uh, the, uh, the Ravens versus the uh, Raiders, the R&R &R game. And um, it's boring. It, it literally is putting me to sleep. But it's almost comical as I watch Derek Carr and remembering how people were saying that Derek Carr is a better quarterback than Dak Prescott and literally the talking head saying that the Cowboys shouldn't pay Dak Prescott. They should trade for Derek Carr because he'll be cheaper. He'll be cheaper. His contract will be better than what you got to pay for Dak Prescott. And then I was also remembering how Mike Farello and Adam Schefter and all these talking heads and Sims and things, they were saying, Dak Prescott may not be 100% all season, you know, and, and he, he may literally fall apart. What's well, amazing that they were all so right. I tell you what, if he's not 100% right now, Lord help the NFL because there were Since 2020, eight 400-yard-plus games in all of the NFL. All of the NFL. And do you know four of them were Dak Prescott? Four of them. Now, I'm going to tell you, congratulate. I, I, I've said this over and over again. To Eagles fans, I said congratulations, Eagle fans. Okay, congratulations on you getting the win. You are in sole possession of first place in the NFC East, much the way the Texans are in the AFC South. But the thing is, is you would think that the Texans and the Eagles have never won anything in life, or or that they literally just won the Super Bowl. I have so many trolls that have descended upon my channel. This guy, uh, Brown Blade or Blade Brown or whatever, he's sitting there talking about the Cowboy fans have had a parade for losing. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? Who's got a parade going other than you guys that are out there circle jerking because you beat the Atlanta Falcons? I tell you what, bro. I tell you what, Eagle fans, okay? Now, let me give you my definition of a cockroach. A cockroach. A man who ain't got his word is a cockroach, as Scarface said. Do me one thing. Do me one thing. See, I can respect Philly 500. You know, when he goes through and says that the Eagles are going to be 2-0 and when they face the Cowboys and that they can win the division because... He is a grown-ass man that stands behind what he says. And when he's wrong, he will admit it. He'll do the walk of shame. He'll come on here and say, you know what? We suck. In the same way, I'm not a cockroach. I do the same thing on his channel. That's why he has that intro which says, I'm Philly 500's bitch. Because I'm a man of my word. You mother humpers that I have never ever seen before in life that are now descending on the channel talking all this smack that have literally punched your ticket 
for the playoffs, make sure you don't be that cockroach. And by cockroach, I mean that scurries when the light comes around. Because that light coming around is the reality of your season. Yes, Jalen Hurts, he looks better than advertised. But I will say it was against the Atlanta Falcons who lost two of the key pieces that they had on the worst defense in the NFL. As well as their head coach, who was at least a defensive genius. So I'm not sure that you can gauge, gauge what happened against the Falcons as what it's going to be like for the rest of the season. Because I don't know if you guys have looked at the schedule. I don't know if you looked at the schedule. You got the 49ers next. Then you got the Cowboys, which is us. Then you got Kansas City. Then you got the Panthers. Yeah, you, you probably get the Panthers. You get the Panthers. But then you got Tampa Bay. So, here's the thing. The great philosopher, Jimmy Johnson, said, if you're going to talk the talk, walk the walk. Don't be that cockroach, that fair weather fan that comes into my channel and talks shit because you got one damn victory. Make sure you're here all the time. Win, lose, or draw. Don't be a little punk ass biatch like I know most of you are. I know how you are because you'll disappear when your team goes south over the next couple of weeks. We won't be able to find you. We'll be looking at the milk cartons and seeing if your face is on there. Because I don't think you guys are men enough to come back. I'm sick and tired of these fair weather fans. Don't be that guy. Anyway. Anyway. That's all I have to say about all this stuff tonight. I have to uh, get up early in the morning, get my morning video out, and uh, hit the road. Um, I got a lot of work I got to do. And um, there's never enough hours in a day. Certainly not enough hours in a day to keep fighting you eagle biatches. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Um, one final thing in here before I go. Let me say thank you very much for everybody who's been coming in and supporting the channel and um, being part of this. Without all of you guys and you ladies and stuff, y'all are like the reason I go through listening to idiot trolls because there's so many of you guys that are actually here that have really become like my friends and family. Even some of you trolls, I'll, I'll even say that, even some of you trolls have. And um, God willing, I can keep doing this for a while, but you never know what tomorrow brings. So let me, as always, say thank you, guys. In case I'm not here tomorrow, y'all mean a lot to me. And with that, I'll see you in the morning. Hopefully. Peace.